Good morning peeps, me again, <laughs> James Atkins Fishing. I'm at Taswood Fisheries again, but I haven't been in this lake for quite a long time. This was the lake I've done the very first time I came here. It's Grebe. Now I'm, what I'm gonna do is have a go down here by the reeds, uh, lily pad. Just round that edge of that lily pad. I see the lilies getting knocked around a little while ago before that duck got there. And I may put a method over there on that far side to give that a go. There's barbel in here, grass carp, carp, mirror carp, common carp, crucian carp, tench, the whole lot. And bream, of course, and skimmers. They say there's some good bream in here if you can get them right. Still, I'm just about set up. I've just got to pop back to the van to get me glasses. <laughs> I'll catch you shortly, hopefully. Right, peeps, what I'm going to be using is... If, you, if that will focus in on it, if I hold that for a second, it's a dibber. It's a Preston's Innovation dibber. It's only a tiny little fluke because I'm just by the lilies out there. And it takes three number eights. And I'm on. If I slide it along and show you. On a band, size 12. And this is the hooks I'm using, MX. C3 size 12 on a 6 inch hook length so let's get out and see what's about <laughs> right let's get out there and put the first put out I've plumbed it it looks to be about round about 3 foot let's see what we got out here I've just got 6 sections on the pole no idea how long that is, probably eight metres, something like that. Just sit there by the lily pad. Let's see what I can find. Pads are moving around a little, so there's something around there. On a black five mil Fuca bait. Let's see what's happening now. They turned that uh, aerator off. That's beautiful and quiet. There's a little tiny touch on the float there. Oop, little touch there as well. There's a big carp lake just over behind me here. And I can hear the buzzers going off. I don't know whether that's fish or whether they keep messing around with it. <laughs> Something's, it's probably something quite small keep messing around with that. Yeah, I keep dibbing about. There's probably some tiddlers about, but we'll see. We'll, I'll put another swim further out. I'll go probably near on full length of my pole out there. Ah, here we are, what we got first go. <laughs> Just in time for an aeroplane. <laughs> for a roach for a first fish. Look at that for a first fish. <laughs> Lovely beautiful roach. So good, that's a good half pound day, isn't it? Brilliant start. <laughs> Another nice roach. Yeah, another nice little roach. in again straight away. This one's a bream, I can see it, yep. Landing it this time. Actually, it looks like a hybrid.
Yeah, it's a hybrid. All right, isn't it? <laughs> Busy already, good. Put a little bit of hemp seed in the cad pot. That's what I'm trying to attract them with. It's working a bit. Not prolific because I can't see the, a lot of bubbles up there coming where I'm putting this, but may not. Don't necessarily have to make bubbles, I presume. I've had a few fish already, or three fish already, and I haven't seen a bubble, so I don't think it matters. In again, looks like another bream or a hybrid. Might change this elastic, might be a bit heavy. That's yellow, 14, 16, just in case there's a carp about, but not yet. I might change it. Right, look at that. Brilliant. <laughs> Lovely fish, isn't it? It's holding me a bit better. <laughs> that nice, look at that. Little booty, that's a good half pound. Woohoo! <laughs> Another small roach. Tiddler bashing today. Makes a change. <laughs> Don't want monsters all the time, do we? Here we are again. I tried this one, that's a yellow fuga bait. <laughs> Still catching fish, it doesn't matter. Put another yellow one in, let's try another yellow one. 5 mil Fucas. What I'm doing is open them on like that. Just turn them around. Just like that. Let's go out again. Well, I've made a feeder up and I just lost it. <laughs> That's a good roach. Oh well, try again in a minute. Roach. Oh well, I thought it was something bigger. <laughs> nice handful. Just the job. Scourger. He's took it down a bit. Huh? Five mil Fuka. Black one this time. Woohoo! I got another broom. Tiny, tiny bit bigger this time. Slowed down a bit there for some reason. So I went on the feeder and lost a good roach at the net. Now back on the pole by the lily pad. I've got a little bream or a skimmer, whichever you like. Right peeps, there's somebody got a big carp in the lake behind me, let's go and film it and I'll show you in a second. 
Right, peeps, I just come round this other lake here and look what this chap has got here. Sorry. That just went 25 pound. Now you can say who ate all the pies. Look at him. He's got a rare belly. Right, we'll just stop for a second and get him to pick it up and pose with it. Look at that for a 25 pounder. And that's Ray. Where are you from, Ray? Read him. Read him. That's just down the road, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, look at that. And what's the name of this lake? Grosvenor. Grosvenor. Right, Grove Lake, isn't it? Taswood. Yeah. Grove Lake, isn't it? Yep. All right, mate. Well done. I've had several of these again now. After going filming that big old carp. So let's stick to it. We're still going, look. <laughs> Catching them on black fuchers and yellow fuchers. Don't seem to matter which one I put on, they still catch them. <laughs> Slightly bigger this time. It's a skimmer or a bream. I call them bream because that's what they are. <laughs> a little bit better one. Hooks out in the net. Let me get it. There we are. Had several this size now, haven't I? <laughs> Oh, it'll keep you busy, done it. <laughs> and again. Just in time for that horrible aeroplane. <laughs> Another one the same size, look. <laughs> I think they're getting smaller. <laughs> I don't mind, it'll keep you busy, done it. Don't always want monsters, do we? That's what it's all about, catching fish. Just sprinkle a few micros out there with the cad pot. And just lift it and drop them down with them. Bream seem to have disappeared again. There's, you get a few bubbles there sometimes. Oh, this little one just took that. Can't get past them little ones at the minute. I've had loads of them little old things, but there you go. Here come the bubbles, you see. I'll zoom in on that so you can see the bubbles coming up. So there's fish feeding down there, but you've got to get it past them little roach. The sun has gotten out from behind these trees here and it's got right warm so you can see I've got my jacket off. Oh, that was something a bit better. Damn. Blast. <laughs> hey ho. Yum, 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 yum. Quite nice. Yum, 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 yum. Here we are again. That's a little better. Yellow fuga that time. I don't think you mind what colour it is, do you, mate? <laughs> Not monsters, but there's nice fish to catch. That's a better one to finish on, isn't it? Slightly bigger bream out here. I was expecting a few tench, but never mind. <laughs> Still, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel and see more of what I'm doing with my fishing, I'll catch you again sometime. Bye bye for now.